everyone how are you today this is buggies over here at brood for gaming where we play fun video games together as a couple and try out some new be beers and review them wow i am having a hard time getting this started it's weird starting the stream rayman introduce yourself sir um i am rayman two two four four again <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have in store today for our special anniversary? Yes. So since we are celebrating our anniversary, we wanted to do at least one anniversary beer. But when it comes down to it, we're just celebrating all things that had to do with our wedding. Mm -hmm. So for starters, we have the Big Dogs Brewery Company, which is out of Las Vegas, and their Year of the Dog Brew. So this came out in 2018 when they celebrated their 25th year anniversary of brewing in Las Vegas. And if oh, now if anybody has never been to Big Dogs um, or any of their festivals, I highly recommend it. Um, they do um, put on a great festival where you get to try not only their brews, but also the brews that, you know, lo um, other local breweries um, you know, want to collaborate with them. It's every season, too. By the way, their food is amazing. It is really good. Did I just... Oh, I thought I broke the cap. It was just the wax. <laughs> I was like, wow, I'm so strong. But, yeah, a special menu on the item for them is the Brazzo Burger. Amazing. It amazing. So, the Year of the Dog is a wooden barrel-aged anniversary blend i'm excited for this beer now rayman did you happen to look up any information about this beer that beer specifically no um i am a fan of most of their beers honestly yeah. so i have high expectations from this one it is what does it say 9.7 percent so we're starting off with a heavy hitter today. Let me turn this glass. There we go. I will say, though, that Big Dogs is known for keeping um, their flavors very um, just exciting. And they are... Does it smell good? <laughs> but no, it, it, it keeps them... It keep They keep their flavors very exciting. Um, and... They always tend to put a new twist on one of their old originals, so that way it keeps it fresh and new. So that I do like. Mm -hmm. you ready for your beer? Sir? I am ready for my beer. Okay. I feel like I did a pretty darn even pour. Look at that. I don't know if that made it into the camera or not, but... I see some sediment here, which is okay. Sometimes that happens. I'm not sure if the beer is... Boy, I feel like this glass looked clean when I grabbed it. Ay, yeah, yeah. That smell good. Yeah. See, something just about those barrel-aged beers just... Oh, gosh, the scent of it. Yes, there's one on Rancho. Gotta try it because it's a dark beer. Yep, yep, evolution, totally. <laughs> I think the the only big dogs is now on Rancho. I think they closed the other one, unfortunately. When there used to be one on Sahara, mm -hmm. and Senior Prom. I don't know why, but the people I decided to go to prom with, they were so stuck on eating at Big Dogs at that the one on Sahara. We're a bunch of high schoolers. I don't know why they picked Big Dogs <laughs> as a place to eat pre prom. It was the weirdest thing, and they, like the best thing to eat at Big Dogs, like he said, is the Bratzel Burger and mm -hmm. their garlic fries. Garlic yeah. fries. So here I am, like, oh, do I eat the garlic fries? Like it's prom, and I want to smell. Can you guess if I ate the garlic fries or not? Sure. Keep all the young boys at bay. <laughs> I totally ate the garlic fries. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Mac. He's cracking open his Icelandic beer right along with you guys. Yes. Ooh, nice. Hey, Thanks for joining never, us. Yeah, we've never asked in the chat before. If you're drinking a beer along with us, let us know what you're drinking. Definitely. I'd love to hear 
what you're enjoying alongside of it. Portuguese Hawaiian wants to know what does it smell like. So it's got a a caramel malty smell. Definitely the caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do you smell, Rayman? Uh, you can. I don't want to take over. Good, you're fine. It smells a little boozy. You know what? It has more of a berry flavor. Uh, Did like. Did you say berry? Berry, like a like a wine, like a wine berry. Okay. Vegas Brew is hitting us with some facts over here. Dave. Dave Pasquale is the director of brewing and used to be head brewer of a Chicago brewing company. Yes, sir, you're very right. Uh, Dave, he's pretty creative. I have to give him credit. Definitely. I, I enjoyed the beers that he was serving up when he was at Chicago Brewing Company. A lot of really creative ones, too. Like a, there was a coconut porter, I think it was, that was really delicious. We just emptied our tap here at home that was from Chicago Brewing Company, too. We need to refill that baby. <laughs> we sure do. Luckily, it's a double tap, so we have a backup. But. Now, Mac Rum, I want to know, what do you think about that Icelandic beer? Is it the white ale? Evolution, I think they do still sell this one. The Year of the Dog, we picked up uh three, three months ago so maybe two it wasn't even that long ago i think it was the last time we were there so it might still be there uh we should check it out i do know that uh big dogs usually keeps um some of their anniversary beers on hand um mm -hmm. but not entirely sure which ones they have right now and always check if you're gonna hit up big dogs if they're having a sale because Every so often, they'll do like buy one, get one 50% off mm -hmm. all of their beer. So uh, give them a call or check their website. They're really good at updating their website. Join their mailing list if you can. And they'll let you know when all of their specials are coming. Even Growler specials. Oh, yeah. Big Dogs is pretty amazing. Oh, it totally is. I feel like we need to have a hangout over there. I agree. Now, I, I would also recommend to not pass up getting a Growler on some of their special brews as well. It's true. Yeah, if you can, grab a growler. Hey, they do birthday uh, uh, free dessert for your birthday. And the discount for your birthday is ridiculous. It it's sure like is. 20% or something if you eat there for your birthday, for your whole party. Not just for you, it's for everybody you're eating with. Nuts. <laughs> like, the, yeah. It's amazing. It, it is good. All right, you start it off. I like the maltiness of this beer. I like that I can tell that this has been barrel aged. Mm -hmm. It has a nice, like, medium mouth feel. The color, the color is fantastic. Uh, you know, it's 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 just the right of amount of carbonation. It's for something that could have easily been sort of like a throwaway beer. You know, celebrating an anniversary because oh, we'll make it one time. We don't need to put a lot of thought into it. I feel like this was a very thoughtful beer. And is it thicker than other dark beers? Honestly, it's not. I, I think it could have been thicker. For it being barrel aged, I think it could have been a little bit thicker. It is nowhere near the mouthfeel of a Boddington's or a Guinness. Mm -hmm. For sure. I would say it's more... Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think of what... Evolution, what's the thickest beer you've ever had? Definitely thicker than a Newcastle. Hey, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's, I, this is not comparable to a Newcastle. Oh, flavor-wise, no. No. What would you give it, then? 4.5. Pretty good scale. I really, I really like this beer a lot. Okay. I wish, I wish all of you were here to enjoy it, too. Really. I really do. And you poured out that entire bottle. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to do like a giveaway. We need to give away a beer. Kieran beer? Okay. Evolution. So we did go to the store to buy Kieran <laughs> beer. Mm -hmm. all, all I could find was Kieran Ichiban. I don't know if that is the one that you mean, but I couldn't find any other Kieran's. 
So I'll have to send you a picture and you tell me if that's the right one. Or here, oh, let me pull it up on Google. So I'm 4.5, right, man? What, what was your, what were your thoughts? You know what? Uh, we've tried several other uh, barreled aged beers. This one is not as strong as the others that we've tried, which I do thoroughly enjoy. Um, and as it warms up, the flavor profile really doesn't change. And the very beginning of it is still very consistent. Um, so I, I would definitely give mine um, a four, a, a straight up four. A straight up four? That's mm -hmm. still a really good score. Yeah. I, that's a pretty good score. Uh, Evolution, is this the one that you mean? Because that's the only Kieran I could find at the store. I don't know if you could see that. Hawaiian Deluxe Plate says, not a quitter. Pour that whole bottle out. <laughs> oh, we, that's the wrong no, one. we, okay. we definitely, we definitely drank the whole bottle Hawaiian Deluxe. <laughs> not a quitter. Uh, okay, Evolution. So Red Rock at the sushi bar. You know, fun fact, since we are celebrating wedding anniversaries, mm -hmm. my mom, when we were a few years maybe into our relationship she hooked us up with sushi making classes at the sushi place at red rock so much fun it was a blast i have to say i did get kudos for having the cleanest workstation so just keep that in mind <laughs> <laughs> no that place was awesome um i wish it, it didn't leave yeah, I was. I really enjoyed their their sushi a lot. They were all really nice too. Very knowledgeable about sushi. It was too sad that they're gone. Oh yeah, and all the sushi we ate, everything we made, we ate. It was amazing. Yeah. So Vegas Brew, I feel like he should be our fact checker in in the chat. He reminded us that Big Dogs started at Holy Cow, which was like a brewery casino, mm -hmm. uh, on the Strip in 1993 it was across from the stratosphere now i wish i was old enough back then to have visited holy cow they moved to the draft house on rancho mm -hmm. in, in i want to say the early 2000s yeah i think it was like 2003 2003 something like that yeah but they're considered really one of the the longest running and first brewers in las vegas hawaiian deluxe says eating the ingredients makes it clean right max is only way to taste whole bottle buggy knows how to do it i sure do mac it's a party i was 10 years old <laughs> how old was i okay from 93 i was eight yeah oh you're older than me evolution i did not know that i love sushi too so solid 4.5. Yeah, 4 points. Let's jump into another game. Give us a moment. Oh, you finished yours. <laughs> I did not. I'll finish it. <laughs> you want to jump into another game? We can jump into another game. Let's do another bubble okay, gobble. Okay let's, okay, let's bubble it up. Would you like to introduce our next beer to everyone, especially to Breezeworth? Since Breezeworth is having mimosas, and we had mimosas for our wedding, we figured it'd be um, only right that we had some type of mimosa-type beer. Exactly. Baron looked like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> yeah, you, you tell him, Mac. You tell him exactly who he looked like. Yeah, so this beer is from Superstition Midri. Um, it's called Bimosa. Doing the most yeah. stuff. Now a little oh. bit a little background on them. It was kind of surprising when I was looking up um some of the information about them. I did find out that they have um a YouTube video. Oh, do they? They 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 actually have a YouTube channel that um they uh I guess you know, they document stuff that they like. Um they started off with um how they started jeff is jeff and jen were yeah, initially jeff and, they're a husband and wife duo yeah she started the theme. yeah she started off uh by you know getting him a brewer's kit and he just fell in love with that and eventually you know their whole mission is to kind of reintroduce um this the mead 
the mead, the old fashioned, you know, making mead and reintroducing it into the world, which is kind of cool. Now, mead is the oldest fermented beverage dating at back to at least 9,000 years ago in China. Did you know that, Rayman? I did. You did? I did. I had to look <gasps> that so up. so smart. Lady Cam says, happy anniversary. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Lady Cam. Is that the mango flavor? No, I think it's just the regular BMOS. Oh, it's uh, orange. Sorry, keep going, Rayman. No, not at all. Oh, you're done? I am done. But oh, I was just oh. I uh, now just jumping off of the orange flavor, right? During our um wedding advert or well, our wedding, we didn't yes. well, I didn't get to have a whole lot, but <laughs> we had one. I had, they ran out of champagne. If I had one, I had one. We had one. Now, um so for those of you who haven't already caught on already um to our shirts, so we got married at Disney. Hold on. Do you see? Maybe not. But we got married at Disney, and there is a food and beverage minimum. And we were a little under, and so we were looking at things. We will give you the pop, Porgy. Uh, there, there, <laughs> there, <laughs> we were like, okay, well, why would we feed people in the pre-reception if they're just going to eat, like, a whole brunch buffet in the reception? And they're like, well, we're here under the minimum. And I'm like, can we have like a mimosa bar? Cause I love mimosas. I don't know about you. And then like, you know, in a mimosa, you have like strawberries and you can add like things to it. So we got a mimosa bar people. Like yes. it was so much fun. We, our wedding guests literally drank every single bottle of champagne our bartender had. We drank so many mimosas. It was fan freaking tastic. Pink Flamingo, what's up, guys? Happy pretty much happy. mutual anniversary. I love it. We wished you a happy anniversary earlier. <laughs> yes, happy anniversary, Pink Flamingo. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, guys, so it has come to our attention that the opening of the beer can is a very satisfying sound. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was that good for you, Portuguese Hawaiian? Evolution, not a champagne person? The second you have a mimosa, your mind will be changed. Guaranteed. Hawaiian Deluxe Hawaiian. says it was so much fun. Aw, Pink Flamingo. Look at us just making friendships happen. Wow. Pink, Pink Flamingo, so hopefully uh, Doink is listening in. Maybe if you want to wish him a happy anniversary on stream, that'd be oh, that perfectly your, fine. Is that your husband? Doink? <laughs> nice. Pink Flamingo says that's the best ASMR, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a whole like, thing about that, right? Now, this looks like a pretty perfect mimosa. Mm -hmm. It looks like I got all the orange juice in there. Yours is a little see-through. What's going on with yours? Should, uh, should I have, like, do it first? No like, idea. Have, like... Mine shows. Mine's pretty orangey. Hold on. Hold, hold yours up. To me. Yours does look... Mine looks more yellowy. Yours looks uh, orangey? I think it's your your light. Okay, I have lots of light. But it's, uh... This looks great. Pretty thick. You can see the... I don't know. Some... Something is... You can see the bubbles. Yes. Mine's got floaties. I got things with floaties. No, it's just the carbonation. You're good. <laughs> no, it's not. Look. <laughs> you didn't shake it. Yeah. yeah. She did not shake it. <laughs> It'd be all over my computer desk. We'd be in a lot of trouble. Does adding too many fruits to a mimosa make it a sangria? I think sangria uses vodka. If, I, if I'm right on this. I don't know. I just like order at the bar and I'm like, can I get a sangria? <laughs> so first off, no smell. There's no orange flavor. I'm kind of surprised. Are you sure it doesn't have a scent? I have no scent on this one. Hmm. It actually does have a cleanness to it. It's very, like, very faint. Mm. 
Pink flamingo says depends on if it's red or white. For the sangria? I believe so. I, I prefer a red sangria. I did. I'm gonna be honest. I did find out that pink flamingo makes her own sangria. What? I will trade you beer for sangria. How's that sound? Avinda, thanks for joining us. Av, how are you? Thank you. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Av is coming via Australia. That's true. Oh, holler. Living it up in Australia. Guys, toast to you. Oh, thank you. Oh, we miss you too, Av. Good times. Oh, yeah. Av, Av used to be in our guild when we played World of Warcraft. Back in the good old days. Back in the, the day. Thunderbirds. Yeah, she came out all yeah. the way to Anaheim, California to join mm -hmm. us for a BlizzCon. Mm. So much fun. So much fun. She was a killer healer, too. Wow. Mmm. It's just the right amount of sweetness. It, it, in my mouth, it kind of has like a sticky sweetness to it. You can taste the honey. You can taste the honey. Mm -hmm. Now, um, mead or honey wine um, is defined as an alcoholic beverage that um, where a majority of the product is derived from honey. So this is primarily from honey, and I guess that's why I'm saying it's sticky sweet. Like, you can taste that. You really can. Yeah, you can taste yeah. the, the sweetness. You can, you can taste mm -hmm. the, the sticky clinking my wine glass kiss kiss evolution says he couldn't get into world of warcraft mm. i feel like we need to go to plink flamingo's house to have some of the sangria mm. <laughs> blitz gone you're funny <laughs> when when it was the blizzcon where av met us and um some of our other guildies we did go through a lot of beer yeah, we went through a uh, intense monopoly. It was a monopoly game. World of Warcraft monopoly, nonetheless. <laughs> and, her, and her partner, Ayan, was just smoking the double roll. I don't know why. They were like double roll, double roll, double roll. I think they were cheating a little, but we couldn't prove it. <laughs> Evolution says, you know what's good in Australia is their green chicken curry pie. No way. <laughs> she has no way. Green chicken curry pie. How interesting. You know what? It, it tastes very similar to a mimosa. I, I will agree with that. I feel like I grabbed the wrong glasses for this. I should have grabbed the champagne flutes. I think so. What was I thinking? Mmm, this is very good. Now, do you want to jump into a different game while we enjoy our B-mosa? <laughs> buzz, buzz. I I really enjoyed the Bimosa. I didn't know what to think. I haven't had <laughs> Mac Nervous Fried. Fucking <laughs> Hawaiian, that was fun. It was fun. You know, every time we come back to play an older video game, it's it definitely shows how some of these older games are harder. You know, they took a lot of skill. Yeah, and it's it's not like a new game where you can just pick off where you died at or like a save point or whatever. It's like start to finish, you survive. And if not, sorry, man, start again from the top. <laughs> I forgot to use my cheat code up, up, down, up, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, start. I had that written in the book. Mm -hmm. I forgot. <laughs> we would have won for sure. We would have saved Marianne. To go. I'm sure she has nowhere else to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, gosh. No, that was a lot of fun. You know, so often we're so involved with, oh, the games that look so realistic. Oh, it's brand new. This, this, and that. But I got to tell you, I had so much fun <laughs> playing Bubble Bobble today. Pink Flamingo says, oh my God, Ella, <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> I've never used a cheat code a day in my life. I gotta say, I used to have this cheat book back in the day for PlayStation 1. Uh, no, what? PlayStation 1. It used to come in a book. It was this it was long, little skinny book. And it had, you would just look up your game and whatever cheat codes you wanted, you would just do it on the, on the controller. It was amazing. Or it was like something you would go in and put it as your name. It was crazy. 
I think, I think I've seen that book. I think it's around the house somewhere. It's in, the, it's in that bag. <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> you can't get rid of it. It's a cheat code. I re oh gosh, what was the game that I I loved using cheat codes on? Um, met uh <laughs> metal Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid. I l so I never used a cheat code for Metal Gear Solid. I like that game, and I'm pretty good at that game. I love, I love it. The music was awesome. Love that. Sucker eighty one says, "Hey, what's up, sucker?" <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining hey. us today. Oh, you just missed our terrible death, and what was that game called? Dragon Double Dragons Two. Double Dragons Two. Mm. We were killing on it on Super Nintendo. On Super Nintendo, <laughs> <laughs> we weren't doing that good, honestly. But yeah, love old video games. I feel like we need to do more of this. Now, when we were talking about what games we would play today, we jumped to the NES class, uh, retro games, and then he was like, well, why don't we play, like, Guitar Hero? Because I want to say our, like, first date was me kicking his butt in Guitar Hero. Now, to be fair, I had never, I had just gone Guitar Hero, and it took me about a week and a half to get up to that level of expert, but I did it. Yeah. What happened was I brought all my stuff over, kicked his butt in Guitar Hero, and then he spent the whole entire week trying to get good so he could try to beat me. I got good. I let him win. <laughs> 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 oh. Portuguese one. Portuguese game. Hawaiian says DDR. I'm good at that. Yeah. I used to be good at the game. You do not want to see us play DDR on the stream, but it is a lot of fun. I probably can't move my feet that fast. Not anymore. Good God. <laughs> back in, back in, I've always been a rock band kind of person. That's okay. We played a lot of rock band, too. We did. Yeah. 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 Bug was good at that. <laughs> yeah, sure was. So, do you remember Rayman in high school when we were on the bowling team? Yes, we were that cool. <laughs> and we would go to... Okay, so in Las Vegas, bowling alleys are in casinos, right? So we would go to the bowling alleys, other houses is what they call them, and we would all like rush to the DDR machine and play DDR before we bowled our matches. Yeah, the before teams. the other team. We would, we would go play, we would go to the arcade and get ourselves warmed up for bowling that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real limber playing that DDR. <laughs> Good times. Blow that whistle, baby. Right? right? The whistle song? Oh, that was good. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You yes, have DDR from Kamingo says. <laughs> My bestie and I would cheat and play with a controller. <laughs> she was talking about cheating. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, my parents, when we first... When DDR first came out... <laughs> I think on my birthday or Christmas or something, they had got me, like, a, a play pad for, like, the house for PlayStation, I think it was. <laughs> and they were so mean. Like, I had put it all together and everything. It was, like, a thick pad. And, and my dad goes, you can't play it unless you're in socks or something. <laughs> I was, like, slipping oh, all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> he, obviously, he was joking. And I paid the price for his comedic actions there <laughs> to be fair me and brand 007 used to play with socks did you <laughs> we no, did. But it was like a sl <laughs> you don't even want to know how many like ddr mats i have i believe it yeah it's, uh, me and my cousin used to play when he get he would get home from school when he was in high school i'm like cuz help me pass this level <laughs> <laughs> Evolution says Orleans was always packed when that game came out. It was that was our place where we would go. We would go upstairs, and the DDR game was right at the front of the arcade. Totally right when you entered it, it was there. Like, and then our quarters ding, 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 all lined up for whose turn was next. <laughs> oh, good times. Shoot, <sighs> we're not old, we just go way back. <laughs> back to the good old days. We did, we did try some DDR a couple. A couple of years ago, for a birthday party, <laughs> I was out of breath. Like, because uh -huh. I, I don't play on easy, right? Because I'm too cool for easy. I was like, let's play an expert or whatever. I'm like, let's just really like show off. And I'm like, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like gasping for air. Again, this was after like a lot of mimosas, but it was pretty sad. Evolution <laughs> says you're old. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I can accept that. Tom, what do you think of this uh, bead Be mimosa? mimosa. Be mimosa. I kind of like it. I do enjoy this beer. Mead? Beer mead? Beer? Can we call it a beer if it's a mead? It's part of the same process? Is it? I don't know. I know they make a lot of different, like, meads uh, that are bottled with corks, but this one's canned. And this one, this is canned. And this one holds up really well. I'm a fan. Can you taste the honey in it? Oh, absolutely. You really can. Mm -hmm. You really can. The honey is incredibly prevalent. Like I said before, sticky sweet. The honey is for sure the first thing you taste. I would take it another just... sip for you, Mac, but I'm empty. I'll drink it. <laughs> we do have another can in the fridge. Mm -hmm. But no, it, it, it's, the honey is definitely very prominent. Very. Yeah. <sighs> I taste the orange. You said you didn't taste the orange, but I do. I couldn't smell the orange. I could I, taste I the cannot, orange. I cannot smell the orange. Must get me some. Yes, Lady Cam. You should bring a bead. A bead? On Friday for the next room. I need to prove the beer. Evolution, you know what? I will bring you the second can of Emosa. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes we should bring a beer on friday for the next oh for the next stream for, for the next one. Oh, i won't be there on friday just to let you know good luck, <laughs> good luck at position round oh gosh <laughs> mac grom Sorry, says that's awful raymond we might have to crack another b mosa later that's yes, true yes. now raymond we didn't mention where we got this beer at so Remember when I was like, hey, how was your week? And then you didn't go, hey, Candace, how was your week? So I went to I was muted. Beer. You were muted, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went to Beer Zombies, which is a uh, beer, a bar slash a... Like a meet and uh, greet. Yeah, yeah like it's, meet it's and definitely greet. like a nice little meet and greet, it seems like. So Beer Zombies, I went to the one on Warm Springs, uh, Beer Zombies on War S Warm Springs. They also have another one on Dean Martin and one opening on April 1st in downtown Summerlin. And that is where I bought the Bimosa. So if you find yourself in that part of town and would like to enjoy a Bimosa as well, hit up Bottle Zombies. Mm -hmm. The owner, Chris, was so very nice. He, we had a really great conversation. He used to be an artist. Well, he does all of the artwork for Bottle Zombies, which is pretty darn cool. We'll, we'll feature a, a beer zombies brew. Definitely. Now, you had mentioned that they were going to be opening a new one pretty close by. Yes. Downtown Summerlin. Smack dab in the middle of downtown Summerlin. They're going to have a beer zombies, which will be incredible. Uh, I'm excited because the one thing that will set this Beer Zombies apart from the one I visited on Warm Springs is that they will have their own kitchen and they'll have like tapas, like pizza, um, other food to eat while you enjoy your beer. The one on Warm Springs is connected to a, what's it called? F uh, skinny Fats? It's like a, uh, a restaurant where you can get like food for healthy people and food for people who don't care <laughs> <laughs> me um yeah so you can still enjoy skinny fats food in beer zombies but yeah so bimosas at bottles on now beer speaking of bimosa what would you rate bimosa right now okay so bimosa i'm thinking gotta be up up there pretty high i gotta say it was pretty good 4.25 you think it's a 4.25 i'm trying to decide if i liked it more than the big dogs or less than the big dogs or they could I be think, even i think if we're talking about complexity of flavors 
big dogs beat out the Bimosa. So I'm going to give it a 4.25. I feel like there was like a layering of flavors on the big dogs. Although we don't normally like... I believe that's the same score that you gave the big dogs though. Oh, it was a 4.5 on It was big a 4.25, I'm pretty sure. No, it was a 4.5. I'm pretty sure it was a 4.5. <laughs> <laughs> From Allegiant Stadium? Oh! I haven't been to Allegiant Stadium yet. Uh, Pink, Pink Flamingo says that place is super close to my place. Well, okay. we're gonna have to hit up Pink Flamingo to pick up some beers for us. <laughs> so we're drinking mimosa or uh, sangrias at Pink Flamingo, and then Pink Flamingo is gonna go grab some beers at Bottles on for <laughs> beer zombies. <laughs> now, so, yeah. with your 4.25, I'm actually gonna give mine a 4.5 just because I did enjoy that much. It, the honey goes very prominent, very sweet, but not overly sweet and it was it's something that i would drink again i i really feel like i i wish i would have bought more than just two i should have just bought a four pack this is this is incredibly enjoyable no it's yeah. really good <laughs> but thanks everybody for hanging out today i hope you had as much fun as we did drinking beer playing video games hanging out great conversations i had so much fun Nighty night, Av. I don't know what time it is in Australia, but nighty night. <laughs> Thank you, Av, for joining us today. <laughs> and um, for all of you out there, thanks. Keep on having fun, playing games, drinking beer, and, you know, drink responsibly. And cheers. Raymond? Thank you again, Av. I do see that it's 9 a.m. over there. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just getting your day started. I, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. That brews Av is having is more like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a mimosa. Who knows? There you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you again, guys. Right. You guys have a great weekend, and we will see you guys next week.